everybody, what's going on? It is Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And for those of you that have been using the Spike Prime kit, you guys might be wondering, hey, Mr. Hino, you know, what do we do for first Lego League um, with Spike Prime? And I'll be honest, there's not a ton of designs and instructions out there for first Lego League Spike Prime bots. But I got this guy and he seems to be um, one of the easier builds one that there were actually instructions for. And you might be saying, Mr. Hino, why are there not more Spike Prime instructions out there? It's relatively new. I mean, you're starting to see more and more Spike Prime at competitions. And then, you know, you know how people are with instructions. Once they get their bot built, they're like, hey, it's competition. We're not going to just throw those instructions out there. So today what I want to do is introduce this bot to you show some simple maneuvers and programming you can do for first Lego League in this bot, just so you can become familiar, and then definitely show you where the instructions are to build this guy. So if you are want to see everything, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so again, this is a very cool bot. First Lego League, Mr. Hino, what do we need? Um, you definitely want something to grab, um, lift, carry, drop off. And that's why we, we definitely always want this secondary motor after your initial you know, drive motors. And definitely be able to utilize in the programming, being able to pick things up, drop things off to score points. I mean, that's the goal. And so today, what I want to do is just show you around this bot, what it can do and ultimately give you the instructions if you needed, um, you know, just a first Lego League type bot. And so today, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. All right, guys, so let's take a look at this guy. Um, we have the skinnier motors here for the wheels and then this larger motor, and that's going to operate this attachment here. And it's kind of funny, these little feet here. But I put this on here so it's, you know, able to pick things up. Obviously, you'd want to take this off. You're going to drop, you know, pick something up. You can have this come down and scoop something up. And so what I loved about this was just the simplicity of it. Because in First Lego League, all you need to do is have the bot travel around and be able to do missions with an attachment, you know. Obviously, um, the newer robots are uh, utilizing a fourth motor. So it'd be kind of cool to purchase another motor to have back here in case you want to do something back here and then do something with the front. Because in First Lego League, it's all about combining missions, you know, to uh, cut down on time because you only have that two and a half minutes. So it'd be nice to pick something up here, drop something off with a motor in the back. Um, but it's a really compact robot. You can see it fits in the palm of my hand. And what you would want to do is just be able to know what missions you're doing and be able to modify this. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of this gear setup here where you have a horizontal gear and then a vertical gear. And you're just depending on these to do everything. Um, I'd rather have the other EV3 gear ratio where you, you know, have a gear that interlock. That way you just, you have avoiding that slipping because see this, if I pull this up, you can almost hear it, you know, slip like that. And I don't want to do that too many times and mess up these gears, but that's the part that's tough is when the gear slips and then you are depending on that gear to score you points and missions. That's going to be the hard part, but this is the basic robot here. Check the description for these instructions. But before you do that, let's go ahead and check this bot out doing some basic first Lego League missions.
so there you have it. This guy, you know, not perfect. It's not necessarily the only bot I would use. I mean, obviously you'd want to modify this to uh, whatever the competition would be, um, you know, depending on the points, depending on the mission, depending on the models, you would want to modify this. And again, it's not perfect. I'm not the biggest fan of uh, this gear type setup, but it's a start. And that's all you want in first Lego league is just a start and be able to build around something um, you know, just to get the ball rolling, um, to get your minds wrapped around what do we got to do and how is our bot going to be able to do that? So I thought this was, I don't know, I thought this was the easiest if you want to get started real quick. Okay. So again, check the description for these building instructions and hopefully you like it. Okay, guys. All right. I am Mr. Hino with me some Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.